Can we do a uh, rapid fire? With yeah, some, let's uh, do it. Divas? All right, yeah. you can give me one word. You can give me five minutes, whatever you want. I'm just gonna name some divas you were there with. I'll leave yeah. anybody out, let me know. But let's start okay. with Tori Wilson. Oh my gosh, the sweetest. I was such a fan of hers too. So I was like, oh my God, when I got to share a locker room with her, oh my God, what a sweet, kind, genuine. She just, if you follow her on Instagram or any of the social media, she's, that's who she is. She's just positive. She's supportive. She's, she's great. She's a wonderful woman. Michelle McCool. Great. She was awesome to me. Um, you know, I had a great opportunity to work with her, learn from her, help her. Um, I know that she was working on a match with Maurice and I was out there. I wasn't on the show that day, but you know, to be able to still get in there and, and work with her and, um, you know, learn from her was really good. So she was always, she was so sweet to me. Maurice. Maurice was, um, we were together in OVW. So we had more of a OVW connection. Um, you know, and she was very helpful as far as wanting to do, like, teach me, you know, I was just the normal girl, you know, she came from, you know, she's a bikini model, she knew all of that other stuff. So helping me with like makeup and, you know, posing and stuff like that. So we had more of a friendship from a from a different level than the other girls. And then of course, we had the storyline. So um, that made it a little bit more organic. Maria. Maria was very sweet, but crucially helpful in me adjusting as a, a diva up there. Cause she would come down a lot. Um, initially she was still, she was dating punk at the time and she would come down a lot and she would tell me like, I had my first photo shoot. So she helped me with like understanding what they're going to do there, what you need to do, how to prepare for it. Um, she gave me real insight on the girls and was very, um, you know, held my hand to a certain point when she was around. Cause they used her a lot in a lot of different things. So um, when she was around, she always kind of was like checking it on me and, and super nice to me. So I mean, do I need to ask what's your relationship with Natty like? Oh, she's horrible. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to end it. Right, I'm going to end the clip right there. I'm going to post it like that. Um, Natty's my best friend. I mean, I just never thought going on the road with her, um, and meeting her there, like we would have so much in common and just get along so well. Um, I'm so grateful to have, have, um, shared the road with her and not only just because I love hearing, um, I love wrestling. So, you know, hearing everything that she has to offer, she definitely traveled and trained more than I did. So as she is today, she's very giving. So she explains a lot. She shares a lot. Um, I love the connection she has with her family and hearing a lot about the personal connections they have and the amount of things we have in common, it's, it, I really feel like she's just my, one of my sisters. Um, and I get a lot that we look a little bit alike. So that's fun too. But um, when she came on the road, it really made me feel a lot more confident and comfortable because I had someone I could really trust with everything. And I had a girl and, you know, wasn't traveling with the guys and, you know, I traveled by myself at some point. You need that confidant. You need that, that supportive sister to be there with you. So I, and it's lasted a long time and, and her debut to know that I was her debut match was incredible. And we did great. Like we came back and the gorilla stood up and they cheered and they were happy with how it came out and, and fit hugged us. And we were thrilled. It just came off so well. So yeah, life, love, friendship. <laughs> She's my best friend. Uh, Layla. Oh, my girl, Layla. <laughs> Layla helped me a lot too. She's so sweet. She helped me with posing, um, especially a lot with that first bikini um, competition we did. Cause I'm like, Oh my God, I'm not a bikini model. Like I'm just a natural girl. And she helped me. She's like, do poses in the mirror. See what you look like. Don't just go out there on a whim. Like she really showed me how to practice and how to do angles and how to do this and help me like, Hey, this is your character. Don't do what Layla would do. You know? And she was very talented in that, in that sense of it. So she was really great um, because Natty hadn't got up there yet at that point. Um, so I really leaned on Layla, Kelly, Kelly, and, and uh, Brooke because they were doing the, um, the extreme expose. Um, so I traveled with Layla and funny story with Layla. <laughs> so we had, um, so WWE did a Divas Magazine special and they had done, Raw girls on one day, SmackDown girls on another day, and OVW girls on another day. I don't even think they had Deep South at that point, but I knew they, they broke up brands. 
So we were out in LA and they did ECW with SmackDown because we taped on the same day. So we did this, we did the shoot. It was spectacular. It was this huge mansion in LA and they had all these makeup teams and wardrobe teams and just completely decked out for this shoot. And it was fantastic. It was the first time I'd ever done something that spectacular. So <laughs> back on the road after we're done with that. Um, so the next week, me and Layla are traveling and we did a Northeast loop. Oh my God. And I don't think we've ever told the story, but so the week before we're in LA getting, you know, treated like Queens. And then the next week we can't find a hotel room for our life. That whole area was booked out of hotel rooms. So we're traveling around. We're trying, I mean, this wasn't like a last minute, let's go on the road like the boys did and let's just find a hotel. Like we tried to book it prior to. So no joke, Layla and I slept in our car in front of a gas station. Mm. When we were just treated like queens. <laughs> it was like, it was, and we were laughing. But we stayed in like, we were, we were nervous, but we stayed in front of the gas station where it was lit and locked the doors and she had, she had oh, just yeah. gotten her puppy, her little min pin. And it was a nice so, gas station. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a rundown gas station. It was, it was, it was like an Exxon, you know, it wasn't like a. It was the higher traffic one where it had like a substation and, you know, it wasn't like a, yeah, but at least it was like, it was the best we could do. <laughs> and then we finally um, got a hotel that morning we found like a Hampton Inn and we, it was like super overpriced, but we're like, whatever. So we went, we couldn't check in. So we went and had the breakfast and then we went to bed and then we went to the, 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 uh, arena later that night. But we, yeah, we slept in our car in front of a gas station as <laughs> WWE divas <laughs> it was horrible, but there was nothing wow. we could do. It was all booked out. It was crazy. It was, must've been a height of some sort of tourist season or something. There was no hotel no hotels available. Horrible. What, what about Melina? Oh my gosh. I miss Melina. She's so talented, so talented, so giving. I mean, her gimmick was incredible. Like we would do wrestling at, like at the shows at the arenas before she, she was intense, even during practice intense. Um, I, I miss her. She brought so much to the, to the group and so sweet, so genuinely sweet. So yeah, I love Melina. <laughs> any backstage issues with any of the girls? You guys pretty much get along? Was there any, uh, any uh, um, I got along with everybody. Uh, I didn't really have any fights or issues or anything like that. Um, sure, I mean, we're all sisters and we're all friends and we get into disagreements, but um, nothing too bad. Um, but for me, I never really didn't get along with much people. If, I, if someone didn't like me, I didn't know it. <laughs> But I also try to stay under the radar, which is good or bad sometimes. So you have to like watch out. You don't want to be too far extroverted, no, introverted before you're not included. So um, I got along with everybody. So 